please follow along as I read Gold Rush. One day in 1858, Lynn Wen hurried down the steep stairway and out onto the street that cut through the neighborhood in San Francisco, California. Lynn Wen's neighborhood in San Francisco was called Chinatown because it was the area of town where many immigrants from China settled. Like other immigrant groups, the Chinese came to America for many reasons. Gold Mountain, or Gam Xian, as the Chinese called it, was one of the main reasons the Chinese immigrated to the United States. After word reached China of the discovery of gold in the mountains of California, Chinese people were soon crossing the Pacific Ocean in large numbers, hoping to make their fortune. People claimed, there is a whole mountain made of gold gleaming in the sun. You just chip away the pieces of the mountain and soon you are rich, as rich as the emperor of China. Lin Wen and his father traveled to America, hoping to make a better life for themselves and their family. They had come on a great streamship, leaving behind Lin Wen's mother, his two sisters, and his grandmother in China. On the journey to the United States, Lin Wen's father had told him, we will make enough money to bring over the rest of our family too, or we will take the money home and live as rich men. Since coming through the immigration center on Angel Island, Lin Wen and his father had discovered that life in the United States was not as easy as they had expected it to be. Chinese immigrants like Lin Wen and his father experienced hostility from Americans in California. Some Americans believed Chinese immigrants would take all of their jobs because they were willing to work for lower wages. Sometimes jobs paying lower wages were all the Chinese could get because some Americans at that time would not hire them to work in jobs that paid better. The few jobs Chinese immigrants were allowed to do were often hard and dangerous, such as helping to build the railroad that crossed the continent and would link the eastern and western sections of the United States. Some Irish immigrants also helped build the historic railroad. Other Chinese immigrants took jobs working long, exhausting hours in wooden meal, mills, washing dishes in restaurant kitchens, or working in laundries where the clothes were washed in large wooden kettles of boiling water. Americans who were hostile to the Chinese did not like how the Chinese had very different traditions and customs from Americans. European immigrants were settled into their new American life had trouble accepting immigrants who didn't come from their own homesteads, homelands in Europe. But not all Americans were hostile to Chinese immigrants. Some realized how different a new life in America could be for the newcomers. Many Americans were welcoming and kind to the different immigrants in the United States. Lin Wen and his father never got as far as the gold mines or the mountains and they quickly learned that it was not as easy to find gold as they had heard. They ended up in Chinatown where Lin Wen's father worked in a laundry, and Lin Wen was lucky enough to work in a grocery store selling traditional Chinese foods. Lin Wen was on his way to work now, but he had a stop to make first. Winding his way through the streets, he followed a side street to a small door. After passing through it, he climbed some stairs and entered a room. No one would have guessed from the street that this rundown building could hold such a beautiful room. Hanging on the walls were silk cloths bearing gold-colored Chinese characters. On the floor were plush silk cushions, and the air was fragrant with the sweet smell of incense, wood that when burned filled the place with a smell like flowers. An old Chinese man nodded a welcome. He asked, You are here to honor the memory of your grandfather? Yes, please, Lin Wen answered. Remembering a person's ancestors was, and still is, an important Chinese belief. We owe our being here to those who came before us, Lin Wen's father had taught him. One way to show our respect is to say prayers and burn incense in their memory. Lin Wen's grandfather had died long before Lin Wen and his father had come to America, but they continued to honor him. Lin Wen brought a brought a thin stick of incense from the old man 
lit the end of it with a match and said a few prayers. Afterward, he thanked the old man and continued on his way to work. The market was crowded with shoppers buying ducks, chickens, vegetables, rice, and other produce for traditional Chinese recipes. The owner of the market, Mr. Wong, had known Lin Wen's family back in China. After arriving in San Francisco, Lin Wen and his father had gone to see their old friend, Mr. Wong, who said, I can hire you or your son to work in my store. Lin Wen's father had answered, This is an act of great kindness, my friend. Let my son work with you. Another friend has offered us a job at his laundry. I will take that job because it will be more demanding, and that way my son will have some time to study and learn. At the time, Lin Wen had said nothing, but that night he quietly asked his father, Father, should I not respect you as the head of our family? Yet you will not let, let me take seriously the responsibilities for our family that you have taught me are mine? I should take the job in the laundry. I am young and strong. It will be easy for me to work the long hours there. You should work in the grocery. Lin Wen's father said, Lin Wen, the only thing as important as respecting your elders is getting an education. If you work in the laundry, you will not have time to study or educate yourself. That is also one of your responsibilities. I have made my decision, but your offer to work in the laundry means a great deal to me. I hope that some way, someday we will have enough money so that we can bring our family here. But even if we never make a lot of money, I know now that I am a rich man, for I have something more valuable than gold, a son of mine who I'm really very proud. Remembering this moment, Lin Wen smiled as he was selling spices to a customer. She noticed Lin Wen's smile. Why are you so happy today? She asked, handing him her money. This market is not exactly Gold Mountain, you know. Perhaps it is, Lin Wen answered, and he smiled as he handed back her change.